in the cellar either. Don't bother about the white lady to George. She'll appear sooner or later. Sooner or later? It's been a fortnight. Well, take it if she's gone, we can still hear her. Where's Fanny? He's in a bell tower having a snooze. Her moans kept him awake after night. Awful noise. Quite spine chilling. She's doing it on purpose. Of course she is. <laughs> I've just seen Mrs. Where? You'll not believe it. Go on. Outside. Hey. Oh. Hey, Lydia. Wait, Lydia. Oh, drat. And when I got there, she'd vanished again. But... But she can't get out of the house any more than we can. Oh, I say, I've just seen the, uh, W. L. Where? Bell Tower. Fart! No, 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 she's gone. No. Now this is becoming ridiculous. Look, we're getting so worked up, we're beginning to see her all over the place. Yeah. Matt even thinks he saw her outside. Yeah. I did. Ooh, I see. What? Matt, do you think it was that ring that upset her? What ring? Where'd you find that? Down by the lake. But why should a ring upset her? I don't know. I said she could have it if she liked. Didn't it, funny? Hmm? Yeah. She got sort of angry. She did. Well, I do think you might have told me all this. She's in. What? She's in. Don't, 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 no, no. Eh? Oh. oh. Ah, so uh, I said to Shakespeare, I can't say that, it ain't funny. It'd be funny if you said it right, he said, cos I wasn't going to argue with him, but it could be very, very difficult. Right. Yeah. So I said the line the way he'd written it. <laughs> I've got me laugh, uh -huh. tripping over me cloak. I have <laughs> returned. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't let you change a word, you had to say just what I've written, stop putting bits in, and don't wave your arms about really? it, to say to me. Aren't you pleased? <laughs> eh? I said, aren't you pleased? What about? Me, coming back. Oh, yeah. I hadn't realised you'd gone, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, remember... Don't you even want to know why? Uh, why what? Well, why I did it. Uh, did what? Disappeared! Oh, yes, well, why did you? Because... I'm tired of being taken for granted. Oh, come now, madam. It's true. For all the notice anyone takes of me, I might as well be dead. You are? Don't be so literal. I'm the only female phantom in Mockley, and I'm treated... I'm treated... You're treated just like the rest of us. Well, that's what I'm complaining about. Don't you understand? I'm a woman. Oh. I want to feel cherished, protected, needed. And when I saw that ring... I wanted you to have it. It was a wedding ring! <laughs> I do wish you wouldn't do this. I find blubbing awfully embarrassing. Can't cope. Uh, 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 there, there. Uh, there, there. There, there. Well, don't leave it all to me. Say something. Uh, there, there. Uh, there, there. There, there. there, 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 there. Well, look, we did miss you, as a matter of fact, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I mean, and we were just worried about you, really. You weren't, really. Yeah. <laughs> we was only teasing. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Pretending not to care. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was a joke, wasn't it? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, don't stop it, man, I can't bear it. No, 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 no. Well, we will make a determined effort to treat you as you wish to be treated. Oh, whatever that is. Oh, won't we? Uh, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> It wasn't your fault, Matt, you weren't to know. But after that ring, well, I couldn't face any of you. Not any of us? I had to disappear. And then I just got more and more gl gloomy. I know, we heard. And then I began thinking about my past. Yeah, but I didn't think you had one. Well, that's just it. I haven't. Instead, I have to sit here year in, year out, listening to your endless reminiscences. I remember this, and I remember that. And I can't join in because I don't remember anything. Impossible. Oh, I am, or why I'm here. 
some tiny reference that will help us find out who she was. And how will we know when we've got to it? It's a question of putting two and two together. Two and two what? Well, ain't she gonna help? It's her pass you're looking for. Oh. <laughs> That's a good funny. Yeah. Isn't it? What are you reading? I wrote from this lovesick oh. young lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not even funny, right. is it? I say, uh, yeah. say, can I read one? Why not? Oh, they do. You. Hey. How dare you read my letters? Hath oft times been seen. Habited all in white, ever howling with a loud voice. That's her. Uh, Go on, Fanny. <laughs> and uttering such doleful cries that all who do hear them are full of terror. Some say the phantom be the spirit of. of. Uh, yes, yes spirit. go on, spirit of. Oh, spirit of. Uh, that's all. All? What do you mean yeah. all? It can't be all. Oh, well, it, it is. Uh, there must be yeah. more. There must, there must. Sir George. Well, well, well. Calm down, Sir George. Calm down, calm down. We've been sat here a week, one week, reading through this mountain of inanity, boring ourselves senseless. And when we finally do find something, <laughs> it's incomplete. He's cracking up on us. I've seen her outside again. Eh? The white lady. You can't have done. She's in the bell tower. She's outside. Fish hooks. We'll find it. Yeah. We'll, I, I know we will. <laughs> How long have you been here? Ages. You know what I mean? I've no idea what you mean. I've seen you outside. Outside? Outside Motley. What are you up to? Don't you talk to me like that. You can get outside Motley. No, I can't. You can, I know you can. Oh, rubbish. You're lying. Leave the bell tower. Now listen, Leave miss. Leave the bell tower. Not until you tell Right. Me. I'm not staying here to be bullied by a stable boy. Hello? Is anything down there? Yeah! What? Me! So either you believe Matt or you believe me. Where is Matt, by the way? Oh, he's creeping round the grounds hoping to catch me. How do you know that? I don't know, but I imagine he is. Why should he say he saw you outside if he didn't? How yes. should I know? Because it's the truth. Then why haven't I told you? Because you've got something to hide. Yes. yes. How do we know that you haven't? For all we know, you don't want us to know that you know how to. Yes. yes. How to what? How, how to, to get, get out, out of Motley, of course. <laughs> There's a ghost outside. Please, 
Furthermore. Hang on a minute. Sorry for bumping it. Oh. I say, sorry for bursting in on you like this. It's a bit difficult to explain, actually. The fact of the matter is, I... By Agincourt! It can't be. It is, isn't it? You are, aren't you? Matilda, my long-lost wife. <laughs> How is she? She seems to be in a state of shock at the moment. Poor old duckling. Duckling? She was Matilda of Aylesbury when she married me. I used to call her my little Aylesbury duckling. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I was Godfrey of Basingstoke. Ah, how do you do? How do you do? Uh, perhaps I should explain we all were. Oh, that's all right. Matt's done all that. And, uh, it's, uh, 1900 and something or other, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a knight. Yeah. Errant, actually. Oh. I also was a knight. Uh, so was I, but not errant. You mm. don't look much like knights to me. Well, we, we didn't do I can assure you we were. Then where's your armour? We didn't wear any. You must have been funny-looking knights without any armour. Mind you, if I hadn't been wearing this lot, uh, I wouldn't have had my accident. What accident? Sure you've got a minute? Uh, yes. oh. Right. The war's over. The little woman's waiting at home. I haven't seen much of her, actually, so I'm galloping back at quite a lick. Um, now then, the, one of the troubles with these things is that they do tend to overheat a bit. Mm. Not much air gets in. Yes, uh, as a matter of fact, um, I had this one modified for the Battle of Harfla. Uh, yes, uh, lots of uh, holes drilled in suitable spots. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, where was I? Uh, galloping back home. Oh, yes, that's right. And I'm jolly hot, aren't I? So I pull up at the well, and I lean forward in the saddle to, to you know, to get at the old bucket. A weedy thing to do, actually. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 and overbalanced, you see. Thank you. Yeah. Top heavy, you see. Oh, 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 excuse oh, me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Straight down the well. Yes. And that's when I found out there wasn't any water. Oh. oh. What happened? Well, I must have got sort of jammed about 15 feet down. Awkward, really. <laughs> Stuck in a well upside down in a suit of armour. You <laughs> feel a bit of a fool, actually. <laughs> I mean, everybody did their best. They, they tried hauling me up. The first time the chain broke, and the second time my boots came off. And then someone suggested drilling another well next to it and tunnelling through and blowing me up with gunpowder. Capital plan. Mm. Yes, but of course, a thing like that's a big operation. Right. Hardly worth it for one night. So, um, that was that. Mm. You, uh, you... Oh, that's a doornail. Yes, quite And <clears throat> you've, uh, been down there ever since? Well, must have been, yes. Although I didn't actually start haunting until today. Quite suddenly, I sort of, sort of woke up. Godfrey, I said, you're still down that dreadful well. And not only that, you're, um... <laughs> quite right. Uh, big shock, suddenly realising you're a ghost. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll soon get into the spirit of it. Will I? Oh, it's jolly nice to hear. And also, this young lad was peering at me down the well, and somehow I knew he was a ghost, too. You know, but the other funny thing about it is that... Uh, I'm not boring, am I? Good heavens. No, no. no. Oh, good, good. Well, the other funny thing about it is that I found myself the right way out. Oh, so I thought... You're not staying down that well like pussy. And off I floated. Marvellous. I think it was the ring that started it all. Ring? Yes, Matilda's. He dropped it down the well. 
It must have got me going, so to speak. Matilda of Basingstoke? Yes, I su suppose after me falling down the well, she just sort of pined away, poor old duckling. How long had you been uh, married? Yes. About eight years. Yes. Mind you, I was away most of the time. Away? Yeah, it was a dreadful muck up, actually. Because there we were at the church, all the Basing Stokes and most of the Aylesbury's. Yes. Choir singing away like anything. Shut the ring on, big kiss, and then, damn it all, up rides King Henry. You doing anything, Basing Stokes, he says? Getting married, I said. Well, hurry up about it, says he, because we're off. Off? Yes, off to invade France. Yeah. And he got the army with him. Bit of a cleft stick situation, don't you think? I mean, you can't argue with the king, can you? Nope. Besides, we basing stakes love a good scrap. So you just bounced off, leaving the Matilda at the altar? Good heavens, no. Oh. I rode off. Oh, it's no wonder she lost her memory. Mm. Did she? Yes. Completely. Yes. Yes. I say, poor old duck. Yes, until you spoke to her just now, she had no idea who she was. Never has had. How oh, ghastly. Can't remember a thing, eh? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you told me. Well, I, I, I better trot upstairs and sort things out. Uh, tell her uh, all about herself. I think she needs to be left on her own for a little longer. Yes, uh, let us talk to her first. Yeah, prepare a sensible move. Yeah. And um, I'll just wait down here, shall I? Quite. Well, we'll send her down. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse us. Oh, of course, surely. You can't keep him sitting down there. Well, he doesn't have to sit down there and go back to his well. Uh, you're being a bit silly. No, I'm not. It's just not fair. He knows everything about me, and I don't know anything about either of us. It was just like that when I got married. <laughs> Couldn't he come back later when I'd had time to adjust? Say, in a hundred years? Now, now, he's just as nervous as you are. Yes. Yes, of course he is. Go on, now, he won't bite you. Do you really think I should? Yes. yes. All right. Oh. Well, howl if you want anything. Oh, uh, ah. Hello, Matilda. Hello, Godfrey. Where are the others? Uh, in, in, in the bell tower. <laughs> oh. Feeling better? Oh, yes, thank you. Much. Sorry to hear about the old memory packing up. What? When did it? I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Been a long time, hasn't it? What has? Uh, well, since I... Since I left for Normandy with Harry and the chaps. Harry who? Harry the fifth. Oh! Sorry. Never wrote, I'm afraid. Didn't you? Uh, too busy fighting and pillaging. Oh, yes, cool, yes. cool. Got into some jolly tight corners over there. <laughs> I, I remember once outside Calais, we, we ran into some French chivalry. Where did we meet? What? Oh, it was, um, oh, no, it's gone. Anyway, these six knights came to us, and I said to my squire, uh, do you remember young David of Dursingham? No. Oh, shame. Nice boy. His father tilted for Wiltshire. I said... Where did I live? What? Oh, somewhere around here. I said, David... Somewhere around here? Well, must have been. Make for that high ground and get the sun behind did you. Uh, did, did you... Did you sing ballads under my window? Don't think so. So we, we tore across the his hill. I do wish you wouldn't keep interrupting, Duckling, and took up a jolly strong position well, facing... I want to find out what I did, not what you did. Can't tell you, Duckling, can I? I wasn't here. Oh. Well, what about the wedding? I presume you were here for that. Now, don't get cross, Duckling. Of course I was. Jolly nice wedding. <laughs> I wore my jousting armour, remember? 
No, I don't remember. Uh, yes, you do. Uh, the set with the brass van braces and the ornamental solarettes. I looked absolutely marvellous. Well, what did I wear? Hmm? What did I wear? Your bride. Um, well, you, you look first rate. First rate? Yes, everybody said so. Matilda looks absolutely first rate, they said. But tell me what I wore. I want to know what I wore. Oh, steady, old girl. I got it. I remember exactly. Oh, you do. Something white. Something white? Oh, something white! Oh! You don't know how we met. You don't know where I lived. You haven't told me anything about me. Oh, duckling, darling. Oh, don't call me by that ridiculous name. You know, I was really looking forward to being Matilda of Basingstoke and hearing about all the things I did when I was alive. But you don't then, because you're too wrapped up in yourself. Let's go. No. I, look, I... Duckling! Matilda! Matilda! Come back at once! Didn't go too well, did it? No, oh, it's terribly. Can't stop talking about herself, can she? Well, she... Matilda! Oh, don't call me that. I wouldn't tie myself to that bone-headed marionette in a million years. But you did. He's your husband. Oh. Yeah, don't be so ungrateful. If he hadn't recognised you, you still wouldn't know who you are. Bodkin's right, Matilda. If Godfrey gave you your name... Well, yeah. you can have it back. I absolutely refuse to be Matilda of Beesenstook. I'm the White Lady of Motley Hall. Unmarried. Oh, we won't accept that. You're his property. He owns you. Oh, no, he doesn't. I've decided to remain anonymous. I thought you wanted to know you was. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't think Godfrey's going to like it. I don't think Godfrey's going to stand for it. She just don't feel she's Matilda. Used to be such a quiet little duckling. Wouldn't say boo to a goose. What are you going to do? Only one thing I can do. Show her who's master. Can't have a wife shouting and screaming all the time. You couldn't have made a mistake, could you? I mean, it's been a long time since you both. Oh, quite. Still, a chap knows his own wife. She's Matilda, all right. You know, it's a bit hard. You climb out of a well after 700 years, find your wife and she don't want you. I suppose I was a bit rotten going off to war on our wedding day. You coming back to the house? In a while. You said you couldn't get out of the house. Who are you? Matilda. Matilda of Basingstoke. I'm not going to make a speech. Yeah, yeah. But I'd just like to say how splendidly everything's turned out for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to Matt finding the ring and raising first Matilda and then me. White lady, forgive me for mistaking you for Matilda. Oh. In fact, the only cloud in the horizon is the fact that you still don't know who you are. Well, uh... oh, no, 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 it isn't a cloud at all. You see, I've decided that not knowing who I was means I don't have to be anybody I don't want to be, if I don't want to. 